My name is Greg Palast. I'm an investigative reporter. In the year 2000 for BBC television, I discovered that Katherine Harris and Jeb Bush had removed thousands of black voters from the voter rolls of Florida. They called them felons, but their only crime was voting while black. In 2004, I discovered that the election was fixed by Karl Rove's crew by using a gimmick called voter caging. In 2008, for Rolling Stone, working with my co-investigator Bobby Kennedy, we uncovered how the GOP used a whole new panoply of gimmicks to destroy the civil rights of African American, Hispanic, and Native American voters. Now, in 2012, they're back. Theft of the election, part four. But they're using a new weapon. It's called a bunch of billionaires. There are several billionaires who have opened up their checkbooks to buy a piece of real estate called 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. For five years, for BBC television, I've been investigating the big billionaires behind the GOP. No one else has been digging into the source of where these millions are coming from. But the investigation isn't over, nor is the reporting. I have an opportunity to place these reports on primetime television, to place these reports in major print media in the United States, to make a DVD, and by the way, to make a comic book so that the average voter can understand what's happening to them. We did this in 2008. 200,000 copies of Steal Back Your Vote, which went all over the country to activists, to Indian Pueblos, to African American churches in Florida, wherever the vote was under threat. It had a big impact. We need to do it again in 2012. This isn't about partisan politics. This isn't about who you should vote for. This is about your right to have your vote counted, to have every American's vote counted. Now, I need your help. I'm coming to you because the big networks will now take my stories. I can get my investigations on the air and in print, but no one is going to put up the money to do the hard core detective work and investigating that's the basis of our findings. If I have to crack open the files of the Secretary of State of Florida again, if I have to go to Colorado, to Utah, to Mexico, if I have to dig out the victims of the caging lists, I'm going to need to get on an airplane, can't flap my arms, I have to bring my cameramen, I'm going to have to bring my top investigators and put them on the case. That's going to require funds. Unless we have citizen funding, I can't do the investigation that protects your citizenship. That's why I'm coming to you. I'm asking you to make a personal commitment to join me in the investigation. I want your information. I want your commitment to get the word out. And I need your financial support too. I'm going to volunteer my time on this. Can you volunteer some of your assets? Can you volunteer some of your efforts? That's what I'd like to hear from you.